So I have a, a site here that's been hacked or at least compromised, not necessarily hacked, but um, it does contain, contain malware. So I'm gonna go about and cleaning this up. Using Google Chrome, you'll get this warning when you visit the website. If you use another browser like Safari or any other browser, you get to the website, no problem. So I suggest using Google Chrome to help with your cleanup. So once we're done, we'll just submit this site again to uh, Google and have them remove this warning for, for Google Chrome users. So it's a good idea to go over to Curie uh, Site Check and they can tell you sort of what is going on. So obviously m malicious code has been detected on this website and down here it sort of tells me what what the mal malicious code is and it's this sort of this boatersnetwork.com thing it's fairly common this one so we don't really need them to clean it up we're going to be doing this ourselves uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your uh, control panel and take a look and see if there's any files that have been modified recently now I did do an update uh, a month and a half ago so last modified files um, are starting here on December 17th. So the other ones are actually in the, I already went through this and checked these, but uh, in WP content I had a one plugin that looked very suspicious because it would been modified on February uh, 9th, which was, it was a week ago. So that one I removed, it was a sitemap plugin and it probably was just out of date and needed well, it needs some securing. Obviously, that's probably how they got into the website, so I just removed that plugin. Um, if you're not sure, it's a good idea just to actually reinstall these plugins fresh from the repo, or uh, if they're premium plugins as well, just do a fresh install of all the plugins if you're not so sure uh, where this might be coming from. So, with that in mind, I we've sort of looked into the files it's a good idea to go look in the database and that's where this code is hiding so like from what I got from security here it's this this code now let's see if we can find it if we just do a search I'll just select all so I have three matches now I've already gone in and removed them they had I had about 20 so there's only three left so if we browse these posts, oh, they're down here, sorry, uh, we can see where they are. So career opportunities, if we come to the website and go to careers, we can see in the head here that uh, this is the problem code right here. This is what's uh, inserting the uh, JavaScript into the website. So this happened about a week ago and it is a bit of a problem since it is uh, being blocked by Google and specifically this hack is really actually fairly dangerous because it, it affects your your rankings as well so when you search for this this website it says this site may harm your computer uh, on here and obviously when you click on it it's telling you a bunch of different things this this may harm your computer so definitely go through your uh, my PHP admin and do a search and you can just go in if we go and edit this one here and scroll down you can see there's a script here and that's where it where it's coming from it's added at the end of this post so I'm just going to delete that and uh, save it so that's been been saved so I'll just search for that again that same there select all it's actually in the post but it doesn't really matter so if we browse those two matches left uh, edit there's a little faster way of doing this but I'm just showing you a basic since there's only three left the codes down at the bottom here just remove it and save it with the go and there'll be one more to do which I will do uh, well I'll do it right now so I removed the, the the main one on the front of the website. So when we look into the the source code, you, we no longer see these uh, 
redirects. So there's just one left here. So once we have this cleaned up, there's a couple things you should do. First of all, if you haven't done it already, uh, update all your plugins or reinstall all your plugins and themes if, uh, if it's possible. Uh, and also regenerate your, your salts. So this is your WordPress salts. You're going to want to put that in your, let's see if we have it, WP config and, and redo these. You could even change your uh, users uh, passwords uh, would be good and you could also install a plugin as well something that's going to monitor your website for you uh, and keep it secure the one uh, I like is the uh, iThemes one uh, that's the one I, I've been using and it seems fairly good I haven't had any problems with it uh, other ones have seemed to create more problems than they're worth and I've had to turn them off but this one seems to run very smoothly so that's about it so once that's all uh, cleaned up which I've done uh, I'll probably do a backup of all that and then we'll we can just go to if we go to the details detected mal malware So there's a few different things here. Webmaster's help for hack, hack sites. You can just go through this information and, and, and it'll tell you how to, uh, if you're the owner and you see this, this is exactly uh, the problem we're having. You can read through these things and you can request a, a review. So this way, we can, they can send it uh, send it back to Google, and they'll they'll uh, remove that warning because even though it's clean now, that warning will still stay there. So you can come to your Google Webmasters console and add the website that you want to uh, tell them about that it's clean. They're going to ask you to confirm the website. You can just add that to the home page of your uh, So let's ask them to verify it. Okay, so the ownership has been verified. Security issues. I have fixed these issues and request a review. So we can just write in, anyway, that's close enough. You can rest a, request a review and they'll they'll take a look at that. So the request has been submitted successfully. Please check back later. So that's it. Uh, so that could take up to 72 hours for them to remove that uh, red security warning. So, so about six hours after submitting the site to the search uh, console for checking, uh, I received this email saying that the review was successful and that all the malware has, well, it's no longer there because I've taken it off and uh, Google confirms this. So that's it. Uh, so hopefully that helps you out a little bit with fixing a uh, hacked website with, with that specific uh, malware. There's all sorts of resources. Google has one as well and Security has one and you can even pay pay them to do it if uh, you don't want to take the hour or so it takes to do this. So have a good day.